ball is tipped And there you are You're running for your life You're a shooting star And all the years No one knows Just how hard you worked But now it shows In one shining moment It's all on the line In one shining moment They're frozen in time But time is short And the road is long In the blinking of an eye That moment's gone And when it's done Win or lose You always need your best Cause inside you knew That in one shining moment You reached deep inside One shining moment You knew you were alive Feel the beat of your heart Feel the wind in your face it's more than a contest, it's more than a Cause inside you knew In one shining moment You reached for the sky In one shining moment You knew In one shining moment You're willing to try In one shining moment You knew
a comment on his name. People keep asking him, was it giving that birth or does it stand for an act? But no, he's living proof. Let him rock in the booth. He'll get you buzzing quicker than a shot of vodka with juice. Juice. Him and his crew are known around as one of the best. Dedicated to what they do and give 100%. Forget Mike. Nobody really knows how or why he works so hard. It seems like he's never got time because he writes every note and he writes every line. And I've seen him at work when that light goes on in his mind. It's like a design is written in his head every time before he even touches a key or speaks in a rhyme. And those other fellas he runs with the kids that he signed. Ridiculous without even trying. How do they do it? This is 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% concentrated power of will, 5% pleasure, 50% I hope the days come easy and the moments pass slow And each road leads you where you want to go And if you're faced with a choice and you have to choose I hope you choose the one that means the most to you And if one door opens to another door closed I hope you keep on walking till you find the window If it's cold outside Show the world the warmth of your smile But more than anything Okay. 
again. Patron once again. I threw my head back, then I froze like the wind. West I walk it out, south I walk it out, east I walk it out, north I walk it out. Cincinnati Hills League, Marymount at Finneytown. This was a good one. Marcus Leary getting the ball back, and he is going to hit for three. He knows what to do with it. Finneytown by six in the fourth quarter. Marymount goes on a little run, though. Nick Hammersmith ties the game with three minutes to play. Down the stretch, Chris Sizer coming up with a big three. The Warriors win it 54-49. In Kentucky, Lloyd at St. Henry, the Finneytown fans still on fire from football season turned out for Marymont's visit tonight. Dan Meffert with the outlet to Sean Perkins, who almost gets the dunk, but the Wildcats nevertheless take a 16-15 lead. Third quarter, Meffert with the baseline drive and the floater to finish. It's 30-27. Warriors head coach Scott Kerr confers before the fourth quarter started with them down three. It worked. Brian Baird with a pull-up sets the tone as they hand Finneytown its first loss, 54-49. The Crazies were out in court. It's the iWireless Game of the Week. Finneytown at Indian Hill. Catch all the action with Nine Sports Fridays on Nine News at 11. The iWireless Tour, brought to you by Hack Sports, Q102, and WCPO.
From football in Phoenix, let's go to some hoops in Indian Hill. Here's Lisa Cornwell. Lisa? Hey, thanks, Popo. After a three-week hiatus, the, Indi the iWireless Tour is back in action. We're at Indian Hill, where the Braves are getting ready to take on a 4-2 and two Finneytown squad. Now, joining me is head coach David Moss. Your club, 3-6 and six overall, but on a better note, 3-1 and one in the conference. Yeah, we've been playing, uh, we've been playing well as of late uh, through the last part of December. But as you say, we're, we've been off for the last uh, three weeks, so we're, uh, we're looking forward to doing battle with Finneytown tonight. They look like a pretty athletic club. I've seen them floating around here some tonight. Yeah, they're, they're extremely athletic, and they're very well coached, so it should be a real good match. All right, Coach, we appreciate you joining us. We b wish you the best tonight. That's all for right now. We'll be back in a moment. Weather now. On the other side, it's back inside the high school basketball schedule with Lisa Cornwell. Don't go anywhere. News on 9 Mobile Broadcast. We are back, and that would suggest I'm not in this alone. That is indeed a fact. Who better to spend a Friday night with than Lisa Cornwell, who started the ball bouncing earlier today. Lisa? Thank you, DJ. It's been over two weeks since either Finneytown or Indian Hill have been in action, and three weeks since our last iWireless tour stop. Well, the Braves and Wildcats kicked things back off for them and for us tonight in our game of the week. Finneytown came in with a decent record of 4-2, while Indian Hill had struggled with the 3-6. and six. Ted Bolzer was strong for the Braves. He finished with 27 points in the ball game. But my favorite name out there, Oni Nwamu scores on the short J here. Finney Towns head coach Shannon Miner hoping for some action on his side, and he gets it. The Cats' Patrick Dawson to Von Wise for the big two-handed jam. Finney Town came to play tonight, winning big 76-64. to Let's head downtown to Cincinnati. At Indian Hill, they had a special act to get the fans fired up on this Friday night. And then Teddy Bolzer picks it up and takes that dribble and goes right through traffic and to the rack for two. Finneytown didn't sleep on that. Oh, no. Watch the inbounds play. Marcus Leary dials in the three-pointer. That got the cheerleaders' attention. And, of course, when you're in high school, that's never a bad thing. But Indian Hill can stroke the three ball. Tanner Rasick. And this cheerleader was so happy she could just flip. Good road win in the CHL for Finneytown. 76-64. That would be the final. And time for the blitz. Beauty it is. Thank you, Walt. The beauty comes from Finneytown inbounds pass, and Marcus Leary quickly drains the three ball. Marcus Leary from Finneytown earns this week's Blitz Beauty. For the Blitz Beast, it's back to Rush. We recognize Dante Jackson's big achievement for Greenfield McLean. And we welcome back former North College Hill stud Bill Walker to the Cincinnati Hardwoods. Papa will tell us about some local ties to Monday's BCS title game between Florida and Ohio State. Plus, we'll check in on the past week of high flying hoops excitement. Don't go anywhere because the Ryland Home Sports Rush has a spot for you. Victory. Back here in Ohio, CHL foes Finneytown and Indian Hill faced off on our Friday Night Eye Wireless feature game. Indian Hill's Ted Bolzler from the wing for three. Then Bolzler inside with the turnaround jumper. He finished with a nice 27 points. Finneytown's Shannon Miner, not too worried yet. Patrick Dawson finds teammate Von Wise. Wise throws it down with authority on the slam. Indian Hill's David Moss, obviously not happy with his team's defensive effort there. The Braves out and running. Joey Fiore, strong to the basket for the lay-in. Dawson on the inbounds play, pulls this one off to perfection. And Wamu responds inside with a short jumper for the Braves. Back to Dawson, moving the ball, moving well without the ball. He scores on the move. Finneytown improves to 5-2, and 76-64 winners. Many high school football. To the CHL we go. Finneytown looking to avenge an earlier loss to Marymount. Wildcats guard Patrick Dawson avoids three Warriors using the left for a pair of points. Marymount big man Will Kippen dishes down low to Freeman Johnson. He gets the bucket and one. Three points the old fashioned way. Cats turn to make more noise. Steve Martin to Marcus Leary for the three bomb. No rim, no problems. And that's Finneytown's theme tonight. No probs. Putting this one in books as Dawson nailed that three there. Wildcats winners 63 to 51. The Braves breaking out. McDonald's of Greater Cincinnati is proud to present the McDonald's Blitz 5 Student Athletes of the Week.
Joanna Tidwell is a senior swimmer at Finneytown High School. And out of the pool, she's a member of the National Honor Society, Key Club, Art Club, and the Thespian Society. Joanna was accepted and will attend the University of Cincinnati's DAP program next year. She has a 3.6 GPA. Steve Tyndall is a senior at Finneytown High School. He's an all-CHL performer on the golf team and currently a guard on the basketball team. In school, Steve is a member of the National Honor Society and is an elementary school tutor. He has a 3.6 grade point average. If you know somebody that deserves to know about it, Blitz at WLWT.com is the fastest and the cheapest way. And welcome back. Over at Finneytown, the Wildcats welcome in Madeira High School. Shannon Miner hoping his home team could withstand that challenge. Patrick Dawson came to play for the Cats. He led all scores with 20. It wasn't a runaway, though. Finneytown wins a tight win, 77-70 in double overtime. Our iWireless. This is the Ryland Homes home court advantage. Wednesday night, a CHL confrontation, Madeira at Finneytown. Here's the Wildcats' Marcus Leary heading down the lane. He misses, but Sean Perkins doesn't. And then a little Finneytown thievery. Vaughn Wise takes it away from Patrick Burke, and he makes it count. He takes it down the floor for two more. Jim Reynolds needed a timeout to settle down his Mustangs a little bit. When they got back, this is Mark McEwen of Madeira with the inside move, and he gets fouled. Not that Finneytown's Shannon Miner agreed with it. Mark Slaughter right on the mark as Finneytown's Patrick Dawson works off the screen and hits a three. He had 20. The cheerleaders indicate the shot was good. This turned into a great game. Went to double overtime with Finneytown winning it by seven. Our Ryland Holmes home court advantage. Wyoming's boys. Some of the other games tonight on the Blitz. Besides Princeton and Lakota West and St. X and Elder, Moeller at LaSalle. Ben Martin makes his comeback for LaSalle tonight. Finneytown at Wyoming and tapped at Woodward. All the scores and highlights tonight at 11 o'clock on the Blitz. Benny Town of Wyoming in a CHL showdown. Cowboys coach Tony Gentry on the shout out to his team and Derek Shoecraft who hears him. Shoecraft with 25 to lead them all. Benny Town with it now. Patrick Dawson, the drive and the lay in. But Benny Town didn't have enough juice to finish this game. No, no, no. John Edgington, he has the ball now inside to Connor Wetzel. Wetzel with 17 and Wyoming wins it by 14. 71 57 is the final. From Fox 19, this is the final quarter. Hope your weekend's off to a great start. Thanks for checking out the final quarter here on Fox 19. I'm Brian Giesenslaw. Later in the show, Marvin Lewis says he has plans for his defense, and the Reds fish for pitchers in Sarasota. All that's on the way, but first, the high school basketball playoffs in Ohio, and we kick it off. At the Anderson sectional for Division II, Finneytown and Indian Hill. Finneytown has already beaten Indian Hill twice this season, but the Braves get the early lead, and Joe Renneker's bucket stretches that lead to nine. Finneytown fights back. The two by Vaughn Wise makes it a five-point game. Then just before the quarter ends, Marcus Leary in the lane beats the buzzer to cut that deficit to three. But Indian Hill wouldn't be denied the upset tonight. Guard Nick Ambrose lights it up for 29 points. That includes that three-pointer, and the Braves get it done 61-49, to the final score. After the game, our Betsy Ross talked with Indian Hill coach David Moss. Indian Hill with a four-point lead at the half makes it hold up throughout this game. Coach, this has to be a great way to start the tournament. It's a, it's a great feeling, I'll tell you that much. This is a team that got us twice in the regular season, and uh, so we were looking, really looking forward to getting a third shot at them. You had to be happy with your defense, especially in the second half. It seems that they were really good about denying a second shot for Finneytown. Yeah, that was something we keyed on all week. Was that's, that's how we thought they beat us the first two times, was we couldn't keep them off the glass, and, and they ran their offense the way they wanted to, and so we really tried to uh, you know, take that away from them, and I, I think we did a pretty good job. Uh, it has to be considered an upset. Uh, as you said, Finneytown's beaten you twice already this season. Once you get in the tournament, I guess it proves that anything can happen. I, you, I, I couldn't say it better myself. Congratulations, Coach. Nice win. Thank you. As we said, it was an upset as Finneytown comes into this game with 10 wins. Indian Hill wins it coming in with six wins on the season. They pull off the upset in the opening round of the sectional at Anderson High School. I'm Betsy Ross. Brian, let's go back to you. Hello again with George. I'm Ken. Playoff basketball. Some te teams are knee-deep in the playoffs and others are about to jump in. Yeah, and some college...
Also at Anderson, Finneytown coming out against Indian Hill. Another Division II tilt. The Braves' Joe Reniker drives and shoots off the rim. But Joe there to grab it, and this time it counts. Finneytown comes back with the long-range missile. Patrick Dawson doesn't think twice about it. More from Finneytown. Off the miss. It's Steve Martin, the wild and crazy guy, cleans it up. But here comes Indian Hill on the fast break. Nick Ambrose wide open. Indian Hill marches on in D2, 61 to 49. In the Commonwealth. This is the Friday Night Final, brought to you by... High school hoops, Finneytown and Indian Hill in a playoff pairing. Braves' Nick Ambrose driving, lays it up and in. Wildcats counter, Von Wise making a wise decision, passing off to Jabari Wright. He makes the right shot, go figure. More Finneytown, Brandon Robinson passing ahead to Steve Martin on the break. The Wildcats favored to win this one, but the Braves prove anything can and does happen in the postseason. Ambrose a whopper of a night, dropping 29 points. Indian Hill upsets Finneytown 61-49. Time now for that McCluskey Chevrolet drive of the week. Indian Hill, the fast break. Nick Ambrose going for the score. Indian Hill delivers a win and delivers a brand new McCluskey Chevrolet drive of the week. Tonight's Blitz Beauty.
but it goes back to the same thing that we always talk about. It's not how good you are, it's how good you play. We're better, but they're playing better today. They're only four points down. They're down in the locker room saying, hey, they're not that good. And right now, we're not. And Mike, Mike won't help you. He came out stronger the second half. They're pretty good. When they shoot the ball, make sure you guys are looking up here. When they shoot the ball, we have to box out. You'll see it on film. On offense, coach will talk a little bit more about this. I know you made a couple jumpers, but they want you to shoot jumpers. They want you rebounding away. Look inside, but when we look inside, you guys that are down low on the block, you're coming out too far. It's okay to go short corner. But short corner turns into 17 feet. Look inside. When we're uh, three out, two in, Marcus, when you throw the ball to the wing, you guys got to interchange. You cannot just stand still. If you move, then they'll watch to see where you're going. Therefore, we want our guys to go. The other thing we can do, we were last year we tapped the head. That would be Sean Bond. That's the ball screen on the wing. Remember, in three out, two in, we throw the ball to the wing. Opposite block comes up. Set screen coach want to go ahead into that and just show you that uh, you know, the ball goes the ball goes over this wing. This guy here, when he's coming up, he can come all the way on out and set the ball screen and play there. And there's so many things. And for first of all, how many times we beat him down at four for easy? Are we doing that a lot? Or are we playing against your zone? Which one are we doing? How about after free throws that are made, what are we doing? After the, after they make a free throw, what are we doing? Just walking it up. We cannot walk it unless you want to play against their zone. Okay, when Vaughn's just in or Sean's in, either Alex or Dan, you guys are the four man. Okay, now make sure we probably, since we're so right handed, when it comes back, reverse it one time. When it gets here, we got their defense moving, then set the screen. So we go right handed. If it's set over here, you don't have to go this way. You can refuse the screen and go the other way. When we shoot, these guys should be going in and rebounding, and we need one guy back. Three minutes. All right, you got to do better. You got to do better. They're hanging around. Do you want to be the team that loses the tail end of the league, first team? Yeah. Well, hell no better be soon, because hell no is going to turn into reality here in about 16 minutes. Let's go, come on. Come on, let's go. Guys, let's go. Let's go. Hey, let's go. Wildcats on three. One, two, three. Wildcats.